All ready to spend a little time outside in the fall because it's still nice and sunshiny. Get that nice breeze going. And how about getting some breeze going through your brand new plow and hearth hanging harvest spinner? This is actually new for us this week. You're getting the hanging spinner and we have three options for you, but plow and hearth. If you have ever seen any of their catalogs, if you've ever visited their website, if you've ever seen their vibrant color and their beautiful construction of their yard art, this is how you make the most of your space. This is outdoor entertaining in its finest and Nancy Brandmuller's here. Which Hello, I'm Mary. So happy. <laughs> so happy too. Love spending always time with this. Always great to be with you. Thank sweetest you lady. Me. She Hello. always brings us these great creative ideas. And this one in particular, I mean, this looks like an art piece at it a does. little folk show that you find mm -hmm. in New England on the weekends. It's I know. beautiful. It's so cool. And I, you know, Plow and Hearth is known for their wind spinners. They're that company that's out of Madison, Virginia, bringing you distinctive kinds of items that you're going to be able to put outside so you enhance your outdoor living space. So well, sweet. they have great wind spinners all during the year and I love that they have chosen to make this a hanging wind spinner so that it's giving you some of that vertical decorating but it's not something you have to stick in the ground you can hang it from a branch or a shepherd's hook that. or a hook off the side of your house and we do have three great choices yes. and then I'll kind of go through the details maybe on this one closest so we'll start with the acorn sure okay I think that if you start with the acorn if you have maybe somebody in your family who is your child and you get this because the acorn doesn't fall far from the tree I love it get them <laughs> Acorn. The acorn, so to be specific, 39 inches long, mm -hmm. 11 and a half inches wide at its widest point, and then you have six inches in depth if you're yes. thinking of a very specific place to put it. Exactly. Who? Who? Who likes the owls? <laughs> we do. Yes, we do. Look how so cute. Here is our owl, and you're noticing that I'm spinning the center portion right here. That's the portion that spins. You do have a tail on it that may twirl from time to time, but primarily the center part of the icon is the portion that's going to spin. Now the owl that's is 38 owl. inches long, mm -hmm. eight inches wide at his widest point, and six and a half inches in depth at okay. the deepest point. Now let, we're talking Pumpkin. fall. Pumpkin, yes, this is your favorite, I bet, because I know you <laughs> love pumpkins. Pumpkin everything. <laughs> now the pumpkin specifically 35 inches long, 11 and a half inches wide, and then six and a half inches in depth. All of them are new this week. Mm -hmm. We now have fewer than 700 to go okay. around in total. Mm -hmm. And we broadcast to 58 million homes, let alone the folks that visit our website. So right. 700 is not many to go around. And we have two easy payments of $15 and 56 cents. When I hear the name plow and hearth, yes. I think details. Exactly. They've you know, just nailed the details. Yeah, this one is so different and unique. I love that they chose, like I said, to make this a hanging wind spinner so you can hang it in the trees once the leaves have fallen down or as you're watching the leaves fall down, hang it on the end of your porch, um, anywhere where you can use a hook. In fact, let's take a look at the one right here next to me, the okay. acorn. I want you to know it comes with the hook. You don't have to go out and get anything special. So it comes with the hook. I'm just putting it right on a screw right there. And so whether or not you're putting it on a hook or wherever you're putting it, easy to do. Now you'll notice there's a frame around each one of them. Each one is a little bit different. This one happens to have the oak leaves around the acorn. And then it's the center portion that spins. You'll also notice, Mary, that there's a speckling to the painting right here. I mm. think that's so beautifully done. Nice high gloss. Texture is done with embossing, whether it's the leaves around the edge or leaves around at the top. And then each one of them has a tail. I'm calling this ribbon of metal down here at the bottom a tail. You may see this whole thing kind of swirl and spin a little bit, but it is designed primarily for that center portion to spin. So it's a little different than some of our other hanging spinners. And each one also has a little kind of dangle down at the bottom, a different kind of a leaf. These are so Aren't gorgeous. They cool? They're all so distinctly different. Exactly. Like the acorn, you get those beautiful Tuscan colors with the mm -hmm. green highlights. And then with the owl, that's where you really get the red, those little bit more, more vibrant reds. A little bit more of a pop of color if that's what you're looking for. The owl has um, kind of a little more reds and deeper greens. Look at his face. We have some other owls coming up a little bit later. I can't wait. If you're someone that likes owls, this is such a darling piece to add to your collection or add to your home if you've never done that before. So adorable, I'm gonna turn them around because I want you to see the wings. They've got the hammering right here, some embossing to add texture and detail to those wings. And you'll notice that this spinning part all has some hammering on the owl itself. 
And then I'm gonna turn around. You gotta see the tail feathers. You gotta shake your tail feathers. Oh, Look I didn't even see little that. Little bust tail feathers. Cute. So cute. The colors are gorgeous. Yeah. And then and the then pumpkin, pumpkin at the end. I mean, the leaves from the vine that are mm -hmm. growing down the side of the pumpkin yeah. at the top. And then you get that beautiful, of course, pumpkin orange. But then you get the green on the stem at mm -hmm. the top of the pumpkin too. I mean, all the way down to the bottom. The leaves are different on each, each and every one. one. Has, mm -hmm. If you are an absolute plow and hearth collector, this warrants picking up each one. Mm -hmm. But we do have two easy payments of $15.56 for you. What you see on your screen would be so much fun to buy for a gift. Yes. Get into their yard and hang it up and don't even tell them. I Just love let that. them look out the window and find and it. Be and see the, yes, That's see the great. motion and see all of that beauty, beauty spinning in the tree, maybe right outside the window where the kitchen is. I love it. Or outside the guest room window. But I think, you know, the acorn doesn't fall far from the tree. That's a fun <laughs> theme to run with. Who's the smarty pants in your family? Get them the right. owl. I mean, and pumpkin. That's for everybody. We, we always called our youngest daughter pumpkin. Aww. And so I really love pumpkins. <laughs> I love the orange. I love the bright color of the season. And I like your idea of surprising a neighbor. Yeah. You know, maybe you have someone that just moved into the neighborhood or you have someone maybe who just needs to have their day brightened a little bit. So sneak over, hang this on a tree branch, put it in their uh, yard so that every time they drive up to the front of their house, they see something very cheerful. And this is plow and hearth quality. They are known for just their wind spinners being really spectacularly made. You'll notice you're not hearing any squeaking or anything. Great quality, beautiful craftsmanship, and lots of fun too. So we have the pumpkin closest to me. This is the owl, and then the acorn at the very end. We now have fewer than four dozen left in the acorn. So that is our, our uh, least amount that we have in all three of the choices. now. Two easy payments of $15.56. You can bump it to four when you use your cue card if you did want to pick up more than one tonight. But Nancy Brandmuller, will you come back? I sure will. You ask, I shall. Excellent. I shall um, do it. She is bringing us another choice from Plow and Hearth. This is the colorful solar garden statue with illuminated suckers.